and welcome to the Josh and Ashley Show on this beautiful day that the Lord hath made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Well, some say, well, how do you know it's a beautiful day? Every day is a beautiful day in the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, Ashley, uh, we hear people talking about uh, there are times that we're living in and all the things that we're facing and all the things that we're going through. And there is no doubt we're going through some hard times and some difficult times. You just wonder what's the next, what's going to happen next. Where do we go from here? Well, can I just tell you, ladies and gentlemen, there's only one place to turn. Right. There's only one place to go, and that's to the Lord Jesus right. Christ. And you got to trust him, and you got to put your hand in his hand and know that he'll see you through. Right. And I believe he's going to do that for you. I believe he's doing that already for us. as We've already seen him work time and time and time again. And so today, I just pray that our songs, our message, and our few minutes with you will be a time of encouragement and uplifting. And I pray that at the end of today's show that you can say, man, I feel better. Things are going to get better. I'm trusting in the Lord. I put my faith in him, and I know that with God, everything's going to be all right. That's exactly right. You feel that way today? I do feel that way. You feel like God's got something good for us today? God has something good for you every day. You just got to look for you it. You got to look yep. for it. That's right. You know, Ashley, when we sing these songs, mm -hmm. we always want to sing songs that will be an encouragement, yes. an uplift, and a blessing. Mm -hmm. And I believe this one right here will do just that. It'll help you. It'll make you feel like you're going to church. And I'm telling you, there's nothing yes, any better that'll help you than when you get in church right. and you get around God's people and that organ begins to play and the musicians begin to crank it up and turn <laughs> it up and the singers begin to sing songs like we're getting ready to sing right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, time is, time is filled with transition and the swifting of changing of yes. things. But oh, we're holding to his hand. You hear that? I hear music already. Sounds like we're going to church in here today. I mean, we're going to do it. I hope you'll stay with us and join us for these next 30 minutes of good gospel music and ministry. We're glad you tuned in. Here's a good one. Sing it if you're not with us, all right? Not a earth unmoved can stand. Yeah. Build your hopes on things eternal. And hold to God's unchanging hand. That's right. Hold to God's unchanging hand. 
praying to minister to you today. God so loved this world that he gave his only son. He would have died. You and I had been the only one. He bore the guilt, the sin, and the shame, but he spoke not a word. They bought his name. How can this be? He thought of me in the midst of it all. In the midst of it all. They're overtaking circumstances. They mount up so high, and I cannot see. Oh, but I know his hand when it slips into mine. Oh, I'll ever need it's in Jesus, and I find once again that he'll rescue me in the midst of it all. Stop it. Seems so small. It's not 
Boy, that's an oldie but a goodie, right? Well, let everything that hath breath Amen. praise ye the Lord. Amen. You know what? That didn't tell us we had to praise him just when it's good. Mm -hmm. Didn't say we had to praise him just when everything was going right. Mm -hmm. He said, let everything that hath breath praise ye Amen. the Lord. And that means we got to praise him at mm -hmm. all times. And I love the message in that song because so many times, and you and I as, as in pastoral work, yeah. we hear well, I really would love to praise God, oh, but it's just boy. so hard. I got so yeah. much going on, and the devil's yep. chasing me, and 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 I, it's just hard for me to get in that mode of right. worship. Right. But when you when you come to church yep. and you start to think about all that God has done for you, My and goodness. you start to think about what He endured for you and yeah. the blessings that He gave for you, yeah. it's really not that hard to praise oh, God. <laughs> the salvation plan that was yeah. given—if that, if that right there don't make you want to praise Him, what else will? It's really not that hard. It's not hard mm -mm. to praise him when you think about his suffering, mm -hmm. and when you think about Calvary, and when you think about what he did for you there, it's not hard to praise God. After all. After yeah. all, we praise him. You know, we also yeah. sing a little song, uh, after a while, it'll all be over. After a while. Come a glad day after a while. Oh, yes, yes, yes. They'll come a glad day after a while. I was singing about another song. That wasn't the oh, song well. I was singing about. I was singing about another song. Lots of people like to write songs about after a while. After a while. I guess they do. <laughs> we, we got two songs going yep. here at the same time. Uh, after a while, it'll all be over. After a while, sun's the gonna sun's going to shine. After a while, dark clouds will pass over. And we'll shout hallelujah after a while. That's right. And that's the one I was singing about. Oh, okay. You were singing about uh, the old Spear family yes, song. Yes, I was. After a while. Some oh, glad day some after a while. Some glad day. Well, that, both of those are good songs. Yeah. And both of them tell that some glad day after, after a while. while. All of this is going to vanish Amen. and all of this is going to pass. And, and uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to make it. We're Amen. We're going to get through this thing. You know, I, I got to tell the other night, I came home and, and, uh, uh, it been a long day, been a busy day, and, and I came home, and I sat down in the recliner, and hadn't been there actually for a few days, and, and uh, turned on the news, going to watch a little news, and I uh, wanted to see kind of some things that were happening, some things that was going on, and, and you know, I, I, I'm, uh, I'm a big boy, I can take the truth, and uh, I, I just like people to tell me the truth, and what's going on, and things that are happening, and the things that are, you know, we're dealing with, and and so I sat down. Did watched you find the news any truth and, on the news? And uh, I didn't didn't find any truth on the news. And I turned it to one channel and went to another channel. And finally, I just got frustrated, mm -hmm. and uh, I just decided to turn the news off. Still a little early in the evening, but I turned the news off and I went and laid down in the bed, I lay in there for a few moments. And all of a sudden, that's when you walked into the bedroom, and, and uh, you said, "Man, you're going to bed awful early. Is there something wrong?" And I said, "Yeah." I'm just mad. I'm just frustrated, you know. I'm trying to trying to get people want just want to know the truth. Just want to know what's going on. Want people to give me the truth. Want the news media to give me the truth. Just I'm I'm a grown man. I can take the truth and honesty. I believe in honesty, you know. And uh, couldn't find it anywhere. And so I just decided that I was shutting the TV off and I was going to bed. And that's when you walked in and you said, "Well, uh, if you're looking for truth, have you opened the Bible?" And that's when I got a little convicted. Yet, though, I looked at you and I said, uh, uh, as you were discussing that I need to open my Bible, and you asked me, have I looked into the Word of God? I asked you, have you been to wash the dishes? And I guess that didn't work too well. But no. that evening, uh, you were exactly right. And we had a laugh out of that and had a good time. And so the truth is, it is in the Bible. Everything you're looking for is in God's Word. You know, we tend to, I think we've talked about this so much even recently, we tend to let our feelings guide us. Yes, we do. And you know, I mean, and I feel, I've seen this so many times even just with people. A lot of times, 
uh, I don't, I think women maybe are worse about this than men, but you know, sometimes you, you may feel like that person's mad at you yep. and they may not be mad at you at all, but true. you, if you feel like that, you can talk yourself into believing That's things very true. that aren't true. Yep. And so I wrote a song about you this. You did on your brand new I did. solo record. Because so many times I let my feelings guide me. I feel yeah. like God doesn't care about me and yeah. I feel like God isn't concerned with what's going on with my life, but that's not the truth. Nope, 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 nope. And, nope. I, and Jesus said, I am the way, I am truth the truth. And the, and the way that we can find truth is yeah. right there in his word. It All is. we have to do is open All it and find it. All we got to do is we got to open it and find it. I hope if you haven't already ordered your copy of Ashley's new solo recording, you will do that. Heart and Songs. This is one of those songs that was on there. This is really what started that solo recording. It did. Is this song right here. You wrote this. Mm -hmm. I said, let's put it on a new record. But this time, I want you to take the songs that you write, and I want you to put them in a collective of, of, of uh, on a CD mm -hmm. collectively, and let's do that. And so this is one of those songs. Yeah. And today, I want you to sing it for them. Sure. The truth is, is the name of this one. Yeah. I think you're going to like it. The things of this life can make you feel all alone When the ones you love most You look around and they're gone And I know it feels like You're all by yourself But there's one in your corner And he's waiting to help Just look in his word And you'll find there is love on each page that you'll read. And the truth is you're never alone. The truth is this world's not our home. So many lies that we hear every day, but nothing
Hope you've enjoyed the Josh and Ashley show today. I love that song that you just sang. The truth well, thank is, you. that's on Ashley's brand new solo recording, Heart and Songs. Make sure you order that online, joshandashleyfranks.com, or you can download that and play it yes. on all. Anywhere of, you uh, get your music online. You get your music mm -hmm. online. That's exactly right. right. Thank you for that help. And anything else you need, you'll find on our website, joshandashleyfranks.com. Mm -hmm. Dot com. Well, we've had a great show today. I feel good about this. It's gone by fast, though. It has gone by so fast. This has been a quick show today. It, it seems like it just come in and come out, you know, mm -hmm. just comes and goes so quickly. But we thank you for allowing us to join with you every week for just this 30 minutes mm -hmm. of time of ministry and music. And uh, I pray that it's been an uplifting and an encouragement to you, as we mentioned in the beginning of the show today. And talking about all that we've talked about, you know, uh, we are holding to that nail scarred hand mm -hmm. in the of all of our troubles and trials and just praising God and worshiping him and knowing that he is who he says he is. Right. He'll do what he says that he'll do. And that's the only thing that we can tell you today. Amen. And that if you're struggling in life and you're going through a difficulty or hardship, whatever that it is, know that Jesus Christ is there for you. You know, I think about that scripture in Psalms, uh, who's on the Lord's side. Mm -hmm. And the question is today, uh, it's really not at who's on the Lord's side. If you're saved, you better be on the Lord's Amen. side. Uh, and if you're not saved, you better get on the Lord's side. The question is uh, today, and it's not a question. It comes back to a statement. If you study the word of God in the book of Romans, it says, uh, if God be for me, who can be against me? And that should have been translated that since God is for me, nothing can be against right. me. And that's the way we feel today. And so we're just going to keep walking through this pilgrim land, this strange land that we're in, and we're just getting ourselves prepared to walk through those pearly gates, enter into the glorious land that the Lord has promised us, and guess what? All these things that we've been dealing with and all these things that we're going through, we're going to leave it all behind. It's going to be over someday after a while. God bless you. We love you. See you next time right here on the Josh and Ashley Show. Now you can call me on your mind But I'm telling you now when Jesus comes again I'm going with him <laughs> Leave it all behind I'll leave it behind When Jesus comes I'll leave it behind When I'm called away This world's wicked ways are not my kind When Jesus comes I'll leave it behind Ha <laughs>